Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve the question on Strata Scratch regarding new products, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. This question has been asked in Salesforce and Tesla interviews, and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, or data analyst roles. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, you are given a table of product launches by company by year. Write a query to count the net difference between the number of products companies launched in 2020 with the number of products companies launched in the previous year. Output the name of the companies and a net difference of the net products released for 2020 compared to the previous year. So basically we are given a data frame called car launches with our expected output, uh, you know, which has two columns, the name of the company and the net new products, right? So basically it is like in 2020, what did Chevrolet release? Like how many products Chevrolet released? And in 2019, what, how many products Chevrolet released? And you just subtract that number, right? So that is what you have. So if you look at this uh, data frame, so you have various years, name of the company and different product names, right? So we all need to do is for every company for year 2019 and 2020, the number of products we need to count, right? So what we can do is we can go ahead, you know, use this uh, data frame car launches and group by the company name and year, right? And try to count, you know, the number of products, right? So we can go ahead and write, dot group by right group by and firstly uh, using uh, company name right so firstly company name because for each company and year we need to find the total number of products right company name and then year right and then use the third column product name to basically do a count right so product name and let's do a count and since we are grouping by these two uh, these two columns, right? So they will be in the index. So to make them appear back in the columns, we need to write reset index, right? And let me run this. Let's see what we have. Okay, so basically different companies and their years, right? So what we can do is we can save this in a data frame called DF, but what we need is we need the name of the company as rows and this year column as you know, columns, right? So basically 20, a column called 2019 and column called 2020. And for each of those two years, the number of products, right? So then only we can go ahead and subtract that, right? So what we can do is we can use the pivot table function. So we can do df dot pivot table, right? Pivot table. And then we need to make index is equal to company name, right? So the rows, and then columns is equal to the year column, right? So it will se segregate the number of values in the year column to number of rows. So here we have two different distinct values, right? In year column 2019 and 2020. So it will make two columns, one called 2019, one called 2020. And then values, right? Values is equal to product name. So basically this says product name because we are counting by product name, right? But it's actually the count of the products, right? So you can go ahead and rename it if it is confusing to you, but like if we can just go ahead and just write product name here, it does not matter, right? Product name, right? Uh, okay, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what we have. Okay, so now, uh, okay, you have two columns, 2019 and 2020, but why did, you know, the name of the company, where did it go? So actually you are, when you are doing pivot table and you are making the company name as index, right? So those names have been in the index now, they are not in the column. So again, to make them appear in uh, the column, we just write reset index. Now let me run this again. So now you have the company names, the year uh, 2019, 2020, and the number of products launched. So now once you have this data form, right, all you need to do is subtract these values. So we can, you know, store this as another data frame DF2 and basically create a new column called uh, whatever is in the output, right? So net new products. So net new products and which is basically equal to what? DF of 2020 minus or oh, sorry not df it should be df2 right so df2 of 2020 because this data frame is df2 right we have so stored it as df2 df2 of 2020 and a df2 of 2019 right so this will make a new column let me um uh, okay so this should be df2 as well uh let me see what do we have um 
right so you have a new column just subtract these values but we are only required to keep the uh, company name and the net new products right so we can go ahead and write okay just keep the company name column and the net new products column right okay i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this okay so now you have uh, output that is same as uh, you know expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it. Now let's look at how the corresponding solution looks like in MySQL. Okay, so if you look at the same question, expected output is same as well, right? And if you preview the stable car launches, the data is also stored in the same manner, right? So again, what we can do is from the stable called car launches, right? We can go ahead and group by, right? We can go ahead and group by the company name However, right, since this is SQL, right? So in Python, we had to group by company name as well as year and then use the pivot table to basically, you know, uh, make uh, different columns for 2019 and 2020. But here, you don't need to do that. What you can do is you can use group by and then use case when statements in uh, you know addition to that to basically make to those two different columns. So all both those steps can be combined into one in MySQL, right? So uh, what we can do is group by the company name, right? Return the company name, right? So return the company name and then we can use the case when statement. So case when, yeah, case when year is equal to, right? Year column is equal to 2019, right? Uh, 2019. Then what you do is then you count it as one. Right. So basically what will those for Toyota 2019? Okay. Avalon. Right. So it is one Toyota 2019 Camry two. So one. So you, when you sum this up, so two products or three products, like however number, right? So that is what I'm trying to do. Trying to count using case when statements, right? So case when year equal to 2019, then one else zero and the case when statement and then once you assign ones and zeros for 2019 for each of the companies, you sum it up, right? You sum it up and let's alias this as 2019 launch, right? Same is the thing that you need to do for 2020 as well, right? So just copy it, paste it here, change it to 2020, right? And alias this as 2020 launch. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what we have. So you see now you have various company names and 2019 launch, 2020 launch, right? The number of products you have. Now, once you have this, then what we can do is we can save this entire thing in a common table expression. So we can write with CTE as, and then this entire thing goes into parentheses, right? And then what we can do is from this common table expression, we are only required to keep two columns, right? Firstly, company name. And then secondly, what we need to do is we need to basically do 2020 launch minus 2019 launch, right? And alias this as uh, whatever is required in the output. So net products, net products. Okay, I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and submit it, right? Okay. Uh, okay, so we have to com company name, uh, net products. Uh, okay, so our output looks exactly like expected output, right? Let me go ahead and submit it to this pass all the test cases. So yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it. So not a very difficult question. All we had to do was, you know, from this uh, table or data frame called car launch is a group by the company. And basically what we had to do was both in Python and SQL to, to get the two columns, one for 2019 product launches for various companies and one for 2020 product, uh, you know, product launches. And then you subtracted that value and you got for every company the net difference. Right. So this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.